Hello Kules and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting update. We start with Athletic Bibajo defender Inigo Martinez as it has been reported that Barcelona are set to sign the 31 year old in 2023 and manager Xavi have approved the transfer. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly talking about another strong Barca target. Martin Zubimendi from Real Sociedad. It has been reported that Barca will have to shell out 60 million euros to sign Sergio Busquets' replacement, Martin Zubimendi. We are also going to be discussing on that. So, guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do be sure to subscribe if you haven't turned on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca! It might be less than a month since the last summer transfer window closed, but Barcelona are already planning for the next year and seem to have their first signing already in order. As per a report from Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona are set to sign Athletic Club defender Inigo Martinez on a free transfer in 2023, with there being a verbal agreement in principle in place between the players' calm and the club already. Martinez had been linked with Barcelona this past summer as well, after the club's pursuit of Jules Conde became complicated. While the Catalans did manage to get the Frenchman signing, they have continued to pursue the 31-year-old Martinez at the same time. An experienced individual and a leader on the pitch, the Athletic Club centre-half is reportedly well-liked by Barca manager Xavi Hernandez. Barca already have as many as five centre-backs on their roster currently, but all of them are right-footed. Hence, the manager is keen on signing a left-footed centre defender next year, you know, to add more balance and options to the team with Inigo Martinez being the top option. The report states that Javi believed that Inigo Martinez signing would allow him to fill a three-man back line with a natural left-sided defender in the roster rather than having to use someone like Marcos Alonso who can play in that position but is not a natural. Furthermore, there is a chance that veteran defender Gerard Piquet may be forced to you know, leave Barcelona next summer if he does not play a fixed number of matches in the ongoing season and Martinez is viewed as the replacement for the 35-year-old club icon. The Spanish international was keen on joining Barcelona last summer itself, but the move did not go through following Koundé's arrival, while Athletic Club were unwilling to let go of their important player easily. But he remains keen on the switch and hence, he has not signed a new contract with the Basque country outfit as of yet. Athletic for their path have been trying to extend his stay, but he has managed to put it off thus far. With a verbal agreement already believed to be in place, Martinez could be poised to join Barcelona next summer unless something drastic happens. Inigo Martinez continued to be a strongly linked defender to Barca. You know, we, we started hearing his name from last summer when Barca was trying to get Jules Koundé, you know, but it seemed as though Chelsea could have signed Koundé at the time, you know, but the move for Nico Martinez did not go through, you know, as Bibaho refused that they were not selling, despite him still having one year in his contract. And luckily enough, we got our hands on Jules Koundé. So Barcelona still admire the player a lot, and it's been reported that Xavi have approved the transfer. He wants a left-footed centre-back, because all the centre-backs that we have are right-footed. You know, Umtiti who left and I think even um, Lenglet, those are left-footed, but they were, they were not useful for the club. They were not the standard that Barca wanted, so we had no choice. So going for Inigo Martinez would do Barca a great deal when it comes to different foot of um, defenders. He's left-footed and Barca have been trying to get a left-footed centre-half, which they don't have any at the moment. So Inigo Martinez, according to the report, is very happy and very open to a move to Barca in the summer when he'll be a free agent. And it's going to still be complicated though. You know, let's see how it goes. But I think the, um, he will not extend his contract because if he extends, then that's where there's a problem. But from the look of things, he has been convinced to extend his contract, but he said he does not want to extend, indicating that he is open to a Barca move. So let's see actually if that move goes through. You know, Xavi wants to have quality. There's no doubt about it. The defenders that we have are really good. With Gerard Piquet um, having an uncertain future at Camp Nou, especially as he's not playing games, he might just tempt him to leave the club. 
you know, as we got reports yesterday that he has a clause that if he does not play up to 35% of the matches he's available for, then he will be free to leave the club. And from there, I think Barca can like, easily bring Inigo Martinez to be a replacement for PK. You know, so let's see how it's going to look like if Barca will indeed succeed to get Inigo Martinez or not. Then on to the next story of discussion. Sergio Busquets' imminent departure at the end of the current season has forced Barcelona to a deeper look into the transfer market. For that, Real Sociedad Martin Zubimendi is said to be topping the list. The Catalans made some heavy investments in the transfer market during the summer. However, the team will have to analyze the current situation in order to make a new blueprint for next season. All that because while Busquets is still the owner of the pivot, he is being seduced by the idea of playing for United States Major League Soccer, the MLS. Now, Xavi would certainly want the veteran midfielder to continue, but if he does, the solution will be temporary to say the very least. This is why Zubimendi is being watched upon. The Real Sociedad pivot is someone who likes who Javi likes a lot, and as reported before, Barcelona have already made contacts with his agent in order to understand whether or not a move is feasible. For now, it's been established that Zubimendi's ongoing deal with Sociedad runs until 2025, and if Barcelona wants to acquire the 23-year-old, they will have to meet his release clause, which is worth 60 million euros. As quoted by Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo, there is an extensive dialogue happening within the Barcelona management which involves Xavi, his coaching staff, Yuri Cruyff, Matteo Alemani and the technical secretary. The team wants to analyze the situation carefully at hand, mostly because Sociedad are said to be working on handing um, Zubimendi a new contract. If agreed, Zubimendi will get a substantial pay rise, no doubt, and his release clause will also be doubled, which you know certainly won't be ideal for Barca. At the moment, Barcelona have the opinion that Zubimendi is totally worth 60 million since he is an investment for the future. Furthermore, they also believe that the midfielder will not ask for a gigantic salary to come up to the Camp in the first place. A lot have been spoken about Martin Zubimendi in recent days as the best possible option for Sergio Busquets' replacement. Busquets will be leaving Barcelona likely at the end of the season. His contract expires at the end of the season and there is no indication of any extension. And I think it's right for him not to extend as his time, I think his time is over at the club. You know, Barcelona want to get his replacement as soon as possible. And Zubimendi have been eyed as the best solution or the best replacement among the others that have been identified. You know, Barcelona have um, Frankie de Jong in their ranks, but they don't see Frankie de Jong as that type of Busquets player who fit their, their, their philosophy of play. We all know um, Frankie de sorry, we all know Sergio Busquets is from La Masia and he understands the Barca system so well. And Barcelona want to continue to bring a player that fits the profile of Busquets. So let's see if Barca will be successful in Martin Zubimendi, who is rated at 60 million euros. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.